Hello and welcome to Real to Real as we come to you today from the Newman Center at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, which this year has been celebrating its 50th anniversary of serving the Catholic student population here at the Commonwealth's flagship university. In fact, since 1929, there was a Newman Club here at UMass, but it was only in 1963 that the vision of the late Monsignor David Power to have a place of their own became a reality. This chapel was alive with celebration and song last Sunday as a mass of thanksgiving was held in the center's Our Lady Seat of Wisdom Chapel. Many UMass and Newman alumni from across the state and further returned to the campus for the Mass and to take part in an entire weekend of festivities that took place to celebrate this milestone. On October 13th, a pontifical Mass of Thanksgiving was held at the Newman Center's chapel to commemorate the center's 50th anniversary. Springfield Bishop Timothy McDonnell celebrated the Mass with Father Gary Daly and Father James O'Leary of St. Camillus Parish in Arlington. Attending were former campus ministers who served at Newman, along with graduates from UMass who became priests. The weekend was full of anniversary festivities that began Saturday with a golf tournament and a barbecue and dance held in the Newman Cafe. Bishop McDonald spoke about the connection to Newman. His great uncle was chaplain of the Newman Center at the University of Florida in 1928, a year before the Newman Club was formed in Amherst. It was a wonderful time for him, and I remember hearing stories as I was growing up about all the good that could, could be accomplished by a Newman Center on a college campus. I've seen the results of that good in my nine years here in the diocese. Father O'Leary credits the Newman Club for starting him on his journey to the priesthood. I'm like the Lepa that came to the Newman Club, was inspired by the Newman Club, got the call, answered it, and have been a priest for 45 years. After the Mass, alumni gathered in the Student Union Ballroom for a gala dinner dance which featured a seven-piece orchestra. On display were albums filled with photos and news clips from Newman's illustrious history. To be able to celebrate with alumni and friends of Newman and coming back here for some, the first time in a very long while, it's just a great feeling. David Bartley and George Trigger Burke were starting guards on the 1956 UMass Minutemen's basketball team. Burke was the leading scorer and star player. George Burke was a fine, fine human being, but wouldn't pass the ball off to his mother on the way to her funeral. The pair have remained close over the years. At UMass, both were members of the Newman Club. It gave me an opportunity to uh, really understand uh, more about my religion, to understand more about the university. I think it helped me uh, in my studies and it helped me as well uh, to point out that education and the church go hand in hand. Nancy Stilson was on campus when the Newman Center first opened in 1963. It was like a second home, and we would go to Mass there, I would eat there very often, you could always find somebody to talk to. It was really a, an important part of my life here. In fact, I met my husband here, um, you know, we were married 42 years, and even though you go through life and so many things happen, the experience of college and of Newman was so intense and so valuable that you just keep it alive. It helps you keep your faith alive. Newman Center was a very special place for them, you know, because it was a place of refuge. Uh, even those who predated the building found the Newman Club a place of refuge where they could come and to share Catholicism with other students. And, and so that became a bond uh, because of that. And for many UMass alumni like Trigger Burke and David Bartley, the bonds that began at Newman have lasted a lifetime. <laughs> 